um, Gramlin. Uh, Courtney is a, a outstanding recruiter, and for this to be her first job is a, a, a great opportunity for her, and I know um, in a year she's going to have some, some major transfers to be able to go and play and, and come and be uh, really, really productive and win. Um, but hats off to them, you know, after winning against Arizona State, we watched them, you know, knock down three after three after three and play with tempo and those things. And, you know, the one thing I love about our group is they're paying attention to all the small details. They're watching other games and, you know, paying attention to everybody that's coming in here. And uh, we didn't want to have a letdown. We wanted to go out and continue to be who we are. And um, we're uh, trying to put together this new uh, 94 feet of heat. And so everybody got to feel that when they come here. So again, you don't have any opportunities to try to run um, those things that you practice every single day uh, on Nolan Board when you come through the doors of the Fatima Center. Um, so we want to be able to have that each and every time, that kind of effort. I thought it was a great, great team effort today. Uh, have an opportunity to play everybody, have an opportunity to be productive with minutes with everybody. Um, I also have an opportunity for some of the culture things that we've been practicing and preaching about to be able to come to fruition. You know, we've seen people sprint to go pick people up. We saw a lot of high five stuff. We saw a lot of discussion when things didn't go well or go our way, or we made some small mistakes. So uh, enjoy watching this team grow and, and can't wait to see what the future holds. Coach, your, your thoughts on Malia's performance today? Um, I shared a text with Malia after the last game that uh, one of my college coaches friends in South Carolina sent me and said, um, you got a really good team. Um, but one of the key pieces is Malia Johnson. Well, he said, Johnson, um, I hope she come around. So I shared it and sent it to her. Um, the one thing that she does every single day is come and prepare. Um, don't make excuses, does what she's supposed to do. Um, and I knew it was starting to show up. Um, the other thing we wanted her to do was just shoot the basketball. You know, I said, the rest of it is starting to happen for you once you shoot the basketball. And um, it started to happen for her. The thing that we've been harping on is getting to the offensive boards, three to the boards every time, two back. Layla's been screaming it out every single practice when we start to lose our focus on it, and Malia's been paying attention to that. Um, just for her to go in there every time and, and do the tough things because, you know, the toughest team win. And I'm um, just really excited about where she is right now, her mentality, her mindset. Malia, what are your thoughts on today's performance? your performance with the team is overall, and why did you decide to come to Houston? Uh, why did I decide to come to Houston? Well, it was the culture stuff. Um, in high school, I was um, pressing 94 feet the whole game. So I had went away from that. At my previous school, we had was playing in zone. So I just really wanted to get back to that feeling of pressing the whole game, because that's just what, I used, what I'm used to, and that's just how I like playing fast. And my performance today, it just happened, like, I don't know. It's nothing really to say. I just think I'm gonna get all my bread and butter from the offensive rebounds. Like, that's just gonna start me the whole game, my momentum, start everything. And team-wise, I just felt like we played as a collective today. Uh, like Coach Huey said, in the huddle, he was harping on share the ball, share the ball, and I think we did that well today. Lily, you're, you're 3-0, and I think, for the first time that you've been here. How does that feel? Oh, it feels amazing. That's the first time? First time? Okay. Um, yeah. It's, it feels amazing. I'm just, I'm excited in where we're going. Like Coach said, um, it's one game at a time. It, it, this is, it don't just stop here. We don't get complacent here. We're going to keep building off of this. But yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I'm glad we're 3-0. Yeah, the one thing about being 3-0 and is, like Layla said, is just continue to go, just like it's 0-0. Zero, zero. You're starting off at the beginning of every season. But um, we've always had to pay and play um, the Power Fives at the beginning of the year. And even one of those three games, we were always going out and playing an Oklahoma or a Cal or somebody like that. Or we'll play a really, really good mid-major team like Middle Tennessee or New Mexico or somebody that will coming off an NCAA tournament so we can have our, our, our net up and, and those kind of things and strip the schedule. But again, we already know what the storm is coming when we get to the Big 12. So um, again, hats off to our administration for allowing us to, to have the funds to be able to get some of these pay games. And 
uh, again, get them at home because it's, it's a difference. It, it's what makes up the power fives. You know, it's the haves and haves nots. And I'm sorry it's that way, but that's the that's the playing field that we've been given and we're about to have to play with it. Hey coach, um, being, I'm sorry, being this does start in your t on tenure here, how is that motivating the whole the whole team as you get ready to be going on the road pretty soon? Yeah, you know, I, I didn't know it was my best tenure at three and We didn't know or uh, any of the stuff they said something about you know, back-to-back 100-point -back games, some kind of something, something. We don't know any of that. Only thing we know is we want to be 1-0 and every single week. We want to be where our feet are every single time and stay grounded and keep doing the work. Keep doing the work. We've done a lot of work to get to this point, and we don't want to let off the gas of doing that. Um, so the rest of it doesn't even matter. We just want to uh, keep steering the car, keep going on our journey, um, not taking any side roads, not even looking at a gas station or anything like that. We're not trying to pull over. Um, we got everybody on and they're in the right seats. They're in the right places in there. They're having the right conversations on the bus and we're just moving forward. And as far as Grimbling State, obviously they are a Grab your team. Oh yeah. Um, how did you kind of adjust things from the first quarter into the second quarter when your defense finally got started firing up? Yeah, we, we, we don't we make everybody adjust to us. We don't adjust to anybody. Um, we will tweak things here and there in practice. Um, like we did some switching tonight, just for, today just because they were like size. Um, usually on some things we'll let. Um, Aaliyah stay with her person or uh, Layla stay with her person, but we could switch because they were like sized players and we know we could guard them. Um, but we make everybody conform to what we do and we're not trying to uh, change who we are from game to game to game to game and that kind of stuff. We have a system in place and it's designed to be that way. Layla, what are your thoughts on Aaliyah as a teammate and her performance today? Uh, I knew it was coming. Uh, it was just a matter of time. Just for her to be healthy um, and see her on the court was amazing. It was refreshing. Um, she's going to help us a lot this year. So I was excited to see it, but it wasn't a surprise to me. That's, it's, it's only the beginning, man. Just keep watching. Keep watching. <laughs> Coach, have you gotten feedback from the, the belts, from <laughs> colleagues or you know, opponents, anything like that? Yeah. Um, <laughs> some of it I can't share, but <laughs> I have. Um, a lot of people wish they would have started it, um, the overall um, results that we got from it, but some of the other things, um, they said some things that I can't say up here. <laughs> but the girls um, seem to be enjoying it, and you know, it's just one of those things that we want to be able to keep them motivated to get it. And you know, with Malia being the first one to get two, now I'm trying to see who else is going to get two or three or something like that, you know, <laughs> again. But it's a tremendous honor to be able to have that, and we want them to understand that. Because again, you're not in vain. You're not taken for granted. And your teammates and everybody's going to praise you because the culture says that. Malia, your thoughts on getting two belts today being the first in this young season, and the belts, the thought of it behind it in general? Um, honestly, it's really no thought behind it. It's just a blessing that I got to be able to, you know, play in this game and score the total points that I did today. So I'm just trying to get it again next game. Thank you, thank you, Layla. Thank you, guys. Thank you, brother.